French Defense Minister Sebastien Lecornu has announced that Paris will soon be able to supply Kiev with 78 Caesar self-propelled howitzers and will increase supplies of shells to meet Ukraine's urgent ammunition needs. ATA press conference, Lecornu said that France, Ukraine, and Denmark had reached an agreement to finance the delivery of Caesar 155mm self-propelled howitzers, which would allow Paris to deliver them quickly. He added that France also aimed to supply Ukraine with 80,000 rounds of ammunition for 155mm guns this year, compared to the 30,000 it has provided since the start of the full-scale invasion. In addition, Lecorno noted that France was involved in the search for existing stocks of gunpowder and ammunition that could be purchased from countries outside the EU as part of Czechia's initiative under the plan. The Czechs seek to obtain 800,000 artillery shells for Ukraine. Czech leaders previously said the first shell should be delivered to Ukraine no later than June. At least 18 countries have joined the initiative, according to officials in Prague.at the same time, Lecorno said that European countries should reduce their dependence on the United States to ensure security on the continent. This is an absolute necessity. I think it's wrong that American taxpayers should pay so much for the security of Europeans, he said. Russians build railway to Berdyansk, but it's vulnerable to Ukrainian strikes. The Russian regime is constructing a railway in the occupied territories of Ukraine. However, it is vulnerable to precision strikes by Ukraine, according to the Ministry of Defense of Britain. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced on March the 18th the construction of a railway branch from Rostov-on-Don in southern Russia through temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine to Crimea. According to Putin, the first segment of the railway allegedly restores access to Berdyansk. However, British intelligence emphasizes that the existing railway passes through territory vulnerable to Ukrainian long-range precision strike systems. The new railway branch, nearly 60 kilometers long, south of Donetsk, was under construction for eight months. It is almost certainly one of the largest infrastructure projects Russia has carried out in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine and re-establishes the rail connection denied by the fighting outside of Donetsk, the summary states. At the same time, intelligence believes that one of Russia's goals will be to support activity in Mariupol. The British Ministry of Defense stated that Russians are likely to seek to restore Azovstal and other facilities destroyed in 2022. Russian forces seized Mariupol and its district in the spring of 2022 after months of fierce fighting. Afterward, the occupiers turned the ruined city into their military base. According to satellite images published online, Russian occupiers intend to connect Mariupol with Russian cities such as Rostov and Taganrog and other major cities in the Donbass. They have already begun construction of a road. The road will pass far from settlements. This may be linked to the difficulties arising from expanding an existing road. Ukraine destroys Russia's logistics capabilities in Crimea. Storm shadow missiles are at work again. The Ukrainian armed forces have successfully hit large landing ships, Yamal and Azov, a communications center and several infrastructure facilities of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Pavlo Narozny, founder of the charity organization Reactive Post and military expert told Radio NV, most likely it was a cruise missile strike or a storm shadow or, for example, a modified Neptune, which is also a possible option. In any case, this is a very powerful strike. Norozny said he believes it was a successful attack on Russian logistics. Russia has quite a few large landing ships because this is probably the sixth ship hit. If they are not damaged but destroyed, it is also a very powerful blow to logistics because these ships can transport either a battalion or armored vehicles. But usually, Russia employs them to transport shells, shaheds, and ammunition. These ships are mostly used for ammunition. This is a very powerful blow to Russian logistics, he added. An oil depot located near the airfield was hit, which means the fuel for warplanes was most likely burned, the expert adds. Russia suffered losses in personnel as propagandists write that up to 50 soldiers were killed, 30 of them officers, said Narozny, citing Russian mill bloggers. Three aircraft were also damaged at this airfield, the military expert said, with reference to Russian war correspondents. Late in the evening of March the 23rd, there were reports of the arrival of cruise missiles at a main communication center of the Russian Black Sea Fleet in occupied Sevastopol. Osint reports on X. 
It looks like at least three Ukrainian Storm Shadow cruise missiles have just crashed into the main communication center of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, a blogger said. As we are informed, the missiles struck in the main special communications center of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation on one Nikolai Muzika STR. The Crimean Wind Telegram channel confirmed the information. 